Today, I'm going to teach you a very simple and easy way to automate all of your titles, meta tags, etc., so that you can easily copy and paste them straight into your WordPress site like this, and you just avoid the total monotony and boring stuff of writing meta titles over and over again. So how do you do it? Well, the first thing you need to do is fire up a new Google Sheet. We love a Google Sheet over here. And you can just type in sheets.new. And then you want to install a extension. So you just go to get add-ons like this. And you want to get this add-on right here. You can see I've already installed it, GPT for Sheets. And what we're going to do is set up a whole spreadsheet to automatically create a lot of meta titles and meta descriptions, etc for us straight away automatically based on the keywords we want to target, right? And this is a completely free add-on that you can install. However, you do need to add your API key. Now, if you're wondering how much does it cost to generate this sort of stuff, you can see here, I've been playing around with it today. It's cost me the whole sum of $0.01. So it's pretty cheap as you can imagine. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up your spreadsheet and even give you a free template at the end of this video so that you can copy and paste and steal it from me. So the first thing that you want to do is basically set up your prompts at the top of the sheet. So let me bold those bad boys. So you can add as many prompts as you want, depends how much information and data you want to store in the spreadsheet. But basically I'm going to keep it simple and I want one column for the actual keyword. So what I'm trying to rank for, and you can insert as many keywords as you want. Then you would have a second column to figure out the search intent and I'll explain why in a minute. The third column, you're gonna add your meta titles and I've included a quick prompt for ChatGPT to use when it's writing these prompts as well. And I'll show you how to set that up in a sec. And on top of that, we've got the meta description as well. Now, some important things to note here is that you wanna keep your meta description pretty short, straight to the point, create curiosity, and you want it to be SEO optimized to the keyword that you're ranking for. So this is really useful for your writers as well, because you can share the spreadsheet with them. And then when they're creating the content, they can just paste in and automatically generate a bunch of meta titles and meta descriptions based on the keyword. They can figure out what the search intent is for that particular topic when they're writing about it. So even if you have a human team, AI will help you there. And I'm going to give you some examples here. If you saw my video the other week and you saw me talking about ranking for new keywords around chickens like this, I'm just going to take a random sample like this, we'll paste in those keywords there. And you can just put in all your keywords that you're trying to rank for and generate a bunch of content for. And then on top of that, next up, you're gonna have the search intent. And this is where you're gonna start using GPT for sheets and start putting it to good work. So once you've plugged in your API key, I've already done it. We're gonna pop in our formula that looks like this, right? And basically equals GPT activates a spreadsheet plugin that you're using, so the API, and then you would just include the relevant columns that you want to include in the formula. So we would have the keyword over here, and then we've got the prompt, right? So A2, the keyword, and then B1 is the prompt over here. We'll hit enter like that. And what that's gonna do, once it loads, is generate the search intent for each keyword. So we can drag this in. I'm actually gonna wrap all the text so that it stays within the boundaries of its cell doesn't take up too much space there. And then it tells you exactly what the search intent for this keyword is automatically, right? So when the writer is creating content for your particular article, what well, it tells them this keyword is informational, people are searching for blah, blah, blah. Also some other information they're talking about. And you could almost use that as a brief outline for the writer on top of that. And then if we drag this formula down, it's going to fill out the same for each of these keywords and it's going to do it automatically. Now, like I say, this does not cost much money, but it will save you time. You can see here, we've still only used about $0.01 to do this. And when you drag that formula down, you also wanna put a dollar sign between the prompt, right? So you've got a dollar sign there, which says always make sure you stick to B. And this dollar sign says always make sure you stick to B1. Why? Because the cell for the prompts does not change. So it's gonna be B1 or C1 or D1. So as we drag that down, it's gonna use the same prompt every time for each of the search intent. And why are we looking for the search intent? Well, this is gonna help ChatGPT write the meta titles and the meta descriptions and anything else you want to generate using this. So let me show you the next formula and explain how that works. So next up, we're gonna use equals GPT. This is the next formula to generate the SEO optimized meta title. And we're gonna say, take 
A2 and B2, aka the keyword and the search intent for that keyword, and then use the prompt in C1 to write an SEO optimized meta title. And now that will be generated for you and you can drag it down to the rest of the cells as well. Now, what I like about this title is that it uses the keyword, so it's optimized for SEO, but on top of that, it includes the date, which is gonna increase CTR, and this gives you the 80-20 bit. Now, of course, it's not the best SEO optimized title in the world. If you wanted that, well, of course, you would manually edit it yourself. But if you want the 80-20 of this and you want a quick title generated, this is so easy. And then the final formula that we're going to use in this spreadsheet is to take the keyword, the search intent in B2, and then the SEO optimized meta title as well. And then, of course, we need to insert that dollar sign so that the reference doesn't change. Why do we do that? Well, let me show you what happens if you don't do that. It's just going to drag it down and then it will use D2 instead of D1 for the prompt, which is what we don't want. So I'm going to delete that and then we shall put the dollar sign in between the reference for the prompt. So that's making sure it always stays the same each time, no matter how many times you drag it down. And there you go. You've got a short, sharp SEO optimized meta description. It's got a call to action and it matches intent perfectly. What you could also do is change that prompt and customize it any way you want to sort of tweak it and get the best possible result. So if someone is searching in Google how to grow grass with chickens, well, then you've got the meta title right here and you've got the SEO optimized description here. Now, actually, I want to take that meta title and make it slightly better. So let's make sure it's no longer than eight word. And then you've got a shorter meta title that's optimized to the keyword. You've got a nice meta description that's also optimized to the keyword and you're good to go on that. And you can fill the spreadsheet in with as much data as you would like. So you could ask ChatGPT to also generate a short article outline in the spreadsheet. And then you could say, include the LSI keywords related to my topic too. And if we freeze column one like that as well, so that when we scroll, the keyword is still there. We can take this and extend it D2. We can change this to E1 and hopefully, if we drag those over, it should give us the outline and the LSI keywords. Never tried that before, but it actually works. So if you've got a team working through the spreadsheet, and we'll change that to F1, then you can see how powerful this workflow is. And everything's just neatly organized in one nice and simple tracker. And everything's just generated. And all you need to give ChatGPT every time you create a new article is the actual keyword. So if you give it the keyword, it gives you the search intent, the SEO optimized meta title, it gives you a meta description, a short article outline and the LSI keywords for each article as well. And they still seem pretty relevant. For example, how to grow chickens fast. Well, you've got a bunch of LSI keywords around there that the writer could throw in into your content or you can use with ChatGPT. And it's very nice and simple. And then if you're using Yoast, for example, I get a lot of abuse for using Yoast on WordPress, but it works for me. So if you put the keyword in like that, and then you can just copy and paste the title, in there, the slug equals the keyword. And then finally, you've got the meta description, which you paste in there. And it's just very simple. In fact, you might want to make that, say, 20 words, just because you can see it's on red there. So if we paste that in, there we go. We're in green. It's got the current year in there as well. The SEO title is in green. The meta description is in green. And it is just so easy and simple to automate your workflow. And even if you're creating all your content with AI, you still need to generate those meta descriptions and meta tags. So this just automates most of it for you in a way that most tools can't. I might do some videos in the future as well in terms of how you can use ChatGPT for prospecting on spreadsheets for link building outreach as well. There's many, many different ways you can use this tool and this extension to improve and optimize your content and just create awesome workflows that are very simple, but work in literally minutes. You might occasionally get some errors like that. That's okay. If we paste it back in and wait for it to load, you can see that the formula has generated perfectly. So sometimes you do just need to repaste the formula in, but as you can see, this works really well. And you know, whether you've got six keywords that you're creating articles for, whether you've got a hundred, you can base them all down here and everything else just generates automatically. Now for this whole template, if you want this workflow right here, I'm going to include it absolutely free. Obviously it won't include my API key, but I'm going to include a version of this that you can use for your own website and workflow, or you could just share it with your team and they can work around it as well. And that's going to be included in my free ChatGPT course, which is becoming an absolute beast right now. Pretty much everything you'd ever need to know in terms of the best prompts, keyword strategies, epic prompts, how to create your own SEO tools, how to rank your old content using AI, and how to automate all of your keywords and meta titles. 
etc as well so i'll leave a link to this free course in the comment section appreciate you watching bye bye